Hello everybody and welcome to an EMB Direct. It's been quite a while since the last Direct, which was uploaded in August of last year. This EMB Direct will mainly focus on the upcoming new series, Warriors School Shenanigans The Thief Wars. Without further ado, let's begin. Hey everyone, my name is Aiden, or Epic Mario Bros, and this month marks the grand return of the Wario School Shenanigans series. More specifically, Season 2, which has been dubbed The Thief Wars, and was revealed in the 2016 EMB presentation. There are many changes to the original formula, and will feature new and returning characters. Before we get into any details about the series, here is a short trailer. Class. Wow, uh, wa Wario, the boiler room might go critical and explode. I hate school, it's so stupid, what's the purpose? Whoa, dude, we should try breaking out, yo. Whoa, so today, class will be creating some wonderful. D oh no. <laughs> Yes, Wario School Shenanigans will be premiering September 23rd, 2016. To begin, this new reboot of the original series will once again feature Wario and Waluigi attempting to be teachers. As opposed to the last season, this series will take place in an all-new set. As you can see here, there's lighting equipment that will obviously not be featured in the actual show. The children seem to have many drawings that are hung up throughout the classroom, giving it an authentic feel. One of the harder parts of creating this set was the lack of seats for the students. In order to combat this, I need to do a bit of post-production magic. There are only three chairs, but there are nine students. One way this problem can be fixed is by taking a video of each of the rows of chairs on a tripod and merging them all together using masking and Adobe After Effects. Of course, when taking a shot of a character talking, not all the chairs need to be in frame. The major plus to using a set for this series is that I can film the show even on rainy days or on days where there isn't enough sufficient lighting. This will make filming a lot easier, so expect more Wario School shenanigans. Next is the character cast. There are quite a few returning characters like Wario and Waluigi, Bowser Jr., and even Mooger and Leopardude. The newcomers to the cast are Koopa, Nabbit, Drybones, Baby Mario and Baby Luigi, and even the extra, Link. Many random or out of place characters like Mario, Luigi, Kamek, Philox, yes he did appear as an easter egg in the original, Pikachu and even Peach have all been removed from the cast. They were unnecessary and didn't need to be in the show. A lot of people have also been wondering what exactly the overarching plot is for Wario's School Shenanigans series. A mysterious character in a black cloak has appeared in many episodes but didn't say much. In the experiment episode, spoilers ahead, the mysterious figure is revealed to be none other than the Petey Piranha. His intentions are unclear, but he successfully takes down a large mutated beast with his bare hands. Petey seems to be Bowser's minion, but has gone rogue and plans to become the ultimate thief. During the events of Wario School Shenanigans The Thief Wars, Petey becomes an infamous thief and puts Wario and Waluigi to shame. This sparks a bitter rivalry between the two sides, which ultimately leads in crazy happenings involving Wario, Waluigi, and the kids. A short time later, Petey Piranha teams up with the mysterious leader of a powerful gang. Yes, White Yoshi will be a character returning for Wario School Shenanigans. Spoilers for Nabbit and Tojo's adventure ahead. At the end of that series, White Yoshi finally revealed himself to be the true cause of the kidnapping of Junior. He managed to break into Bowser's house with his gang to take back the Silver Gun, a weapon Nabbit supposedly stole from him. There will be much more information on White Yoshi and his plans in Wario School Shenanigans. Oh, and by the way, White Yoshi's gang is called the Silver Bullet Clan, a reference to the important weapon they are hunting. Finally, let's talk about what the series is primarily going to be about. Yes, while there will still be the overarching backstory involving Petey and White Yoshi, the formula remains similar to the formula from the original. The main emphasis of the new series will be on school activities and events, much like the original, except with Wario and Waluigi shenanigans. Not to mention the sinister plans of White Yoshi and Petey Piranha. The reboot will be as funny as the original, so hopefully the backstory doesn't get into the way of the overall silliness. It is called Wario's School Shenanigans for a reason. Another main point I should bring up is continuity. If you recall, the previous school was destroyed. This is partially why the original series ended, as I could not keep going without sufficient plot material. 
A year later, the school has been rebuilt and the students are finally back. The first episode of Warrior School Shenanigans and Thief Wars, called Return to School, will premiere September 23rd. Before we go, I would also like to say that an extra series has been cancelled, called 10 Ways to Destroy. Unfortunately, this series did not show anything promising and sadly will not be released. You may also be wondering about Super Smash Bros. Epic, which was announced in 2014. Thankfully, this series has not been cancelled and may premiere when a solid idea for it has been laid down. As of right now, the concepts are very generic and have been done before. Over time, this series may become a unique addition to the channel. With that being said, thanks for watching and stay tuned for Warrior School Shenanigans. Thank you and bye.